back to the video. It's been a long time since I posted anything about stoicism, my lifestyle, my life. Um, I definitely got complacent once again in consuming gluttonous activities like video games, TV, even reading. Uh, I did not hold out to the uh, once-a-day videos. I feel bad about that, and I appreciate the 10 people who are still subscribed to this channel. Thanks for not unsubscribing. Much appreciated. The whole CV shelter-in-place lockdown situation here in the United States and in California has me wanting to talk to you guys again. Um, I noticed a quick change in myself, a very significant change in my mentality and my energy, my hormonal testosterone levels, if you will, after being back on the carnivore diet three days ago. Three days ago, I said, nope, I'm not touching that bread. I'm not touching that juice. I'm not even touching that milk. I'm not touching that candy, those chocolates, that ice cream. I'm not touching it. Um, and after three days of just eating nothing but meat, you know, two to three pounds of steak and chicken every day, I can tell you, I feel like I'm myself again. I feel way more confident, way more energetic. Like when I, when I push my kid in a stroller last week and the, the few weeks leading up to this, I could just feel like I didn't want to move my legs as fast. But now it's like I'm running. I'm running. I, I want to run with the stroller. Um, I want to climb these hills as fast as I can instead of slowly to try to avoid huffing and puffing. Um, the last, I, don't, I, I honestly, it feels like it's been months of lockdown. I think it's only been here in California. I think, well, what did we officially started in the beginning of April or late March? But my company had us not going to work. But I feel like I've been doing this for maybe six or seven weeks now. And I'll be honest, I was letting myself go. I was letting myself go. Uh, I was not working out. I was not watching what I ate. I was eating tons of crap. My mentality was like, well, you know, food could run out, so you need to be fat in case you don't get to eat and that you have to burn your fat to survive. But fuck it, I'm not living like that anymore. I'm not going to do that anymore. I get that it's hard to find meat, but whatever, for whatever reason, Omaha Steaks and Butcher Box keep showing up to my door. I've got steak and chicken and pork overflowing out of my freezer and fridge, so I'm not worried about that anymore. In fact, if I don't eat it, it's, some of it's going to go bad. So screw it. I'm going back on the carnivore diet, and it, it feels amazing. Um, I just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to piece together my ideas here, but, you know, free flowing in conversation, talking to you guys again, the change that I've noticed after just three days of carnivore is insane. Um, last night, even I didn't really want to play video games. It made no sense. Like what, what's going on? But I decided that, uh, you know, 8.30, time to wind down with a good book. And so, reading a book. Uh, I'll talk about my book choices on another video. But uh, I, I definitely wanted to, wanted to come back and share. First of all, confess. You know, use this as a time to confess my sins to you. You guys acting as my priest, listening to me. But, you know, confess how gluttonous I've been. Literally drinking beer. Ugh, beer is the worst. Beer is the mind killer. I drank beer every night, one to two to three to four beers, strong beers, sweet beers, pigging out on ice cream and chocolate and pita chips and hummus and other unnecessary things. I'm pigging out on video games, pigging out on the mind and dopamine of just gaming for hours and hours. Seven o'clock hits, my kid's in bed, make my girlfriend dinner, and off to the computer I go. Till 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, wake up in the morning, first thing I do, game. There's something about switching your diet that changes your mentality. Not only that, but 
I started up my, uh, three or four years ago, I started doing a five by five barbell strength training regimen, which, you know, changed my life for sure. I can't recommend it enough, but the gym is not accessible. I don't own a barbell, so I'm doing a home-based one where I'm like squatting, I'm front squatting a five-gallon jug, and I'm doing push-ups instead of bench press, and I'm rowing five-gallon jugs instead of rowing a barbell, but, you know, just doing the squats, I can just tell you right now, like, it's, it's amazing how in a day to two days to three days, you can, like, I don't, I don't know if, you, if it's doubling, but I have substantially increased my testosterone. And I know I'm not for sure aware because I'm not taking a blood test to confirm that, but it feels like I have. And it's good enough for me. Anyway, it's time to get back on the Daily Stoic videos. So starting tomorrow, I'll continue the manuscripts from where I left off. In fact, we're probably going to catch up to where I was doing it last year. So I may be talking about the same stuff. But the only thing is, now we've got a new CV lockdown situation going, right? And nobody knows what's really going on. They're, They're shutting down the entire country's economy. And I got to be honest, I'm starting to think it's a hoax or being blown way out of proportion. Um, I get that people in New York are sick, but you know, they said 200,000 deaths. We've only had 40,000, and I don't even know if of those 40,000, they're even counting them accurately. I'm starting to think they're shutting down our government and our economy for other reasons, nefarious reasons that I won't get into because they're conspiracy. But it just seems like BS to me. I mean, I'm in California. We we sheltered in place way early, and the numbers were very low here in Northern California. I can't speak for L.A., but the San Francisco Bay Area in total, supposedly 5,000 cases, which is not a lot. The fact is most of us probably got it or had it and got over it like a flu. And uh, they got to reopen the economy. But until they do, we're going we're gonna to talk about stoic things. And we're going we're gonna to apply them to the situation in the coming days. Anyway, that's it. Just my thoughts on the carnivore diet and how quickly it's changed my mood. And uh, my mentality. Same with uh, working out and how important that is. So keep up, keep that shit up. Get off the carbs, lift up a jug of water, put it back down. Okay? If you thought this was helpful, share it. If you thought it was cool, subscribe to my channel, drop a like or dislike, and comment below. That's it. See ya.